Hello everyone. Welcome to Techie Tuesday. Thank you for joining me. We are going to have some fun tonight. I have been learning all kinds of new tech today in advance of this fun Techie Tuesday. And what we're going to be talking about tonight is custom album spines. And if you haven't already, you can share this live. And what I'll be giving away tonight, as I have in the past, is an hour with me. So, um, Oh, just kidding. All right. So what you'll be winning is an hour with me, and I can either review what I'm teaching tonight, or if you have any other tech questions that I can help you with, then you can um, then you can win. Now, I thought, well, thank you. Um, let me see what I can do here. I thought I was going to be able to see the comments here. Oh, wait, I did. I just thanked Marcelle for commenting on my shirt. I didn't even realize I was seeing comments. So bear with me here. New tech. Um, all right, so if you haven't already shared, you can go ahead and share this live video, and you will be entered to win um, an hour with me. And... We have a lot to cover tonight. Now, I have done an entire Techie Tuesday. Um, I don't know why I can still hear over here. I have done um, an entire Techie Tuesday it's just on custom album spines. So I'm not going to go super in depth. It's just a quick review, but you can go back and watch that Techie Tuesday. Oh, thank you, Linda. So fun to see. Um, all of my scrappy friends here tonight. Um, I've had the same earrings on for like a month and I did not sleep in these, Stacy, um, because I, I just put, picked the biggest earrings I had in my box yesterday so that I had have to take them off. Then I ran out today and um, went out without earrings. <laughs> So I put them back on tonight. Anyway, let's get on with the subject matter at hand. I'm very excited to share this with you. Let me know if you hear anything funky with sound. Hopefully we won't have any video issues. I changed some light bulbs in my lights, so hopefully I won't be a sweaty mess by the end of this. Alrighty, so what I'm going to start with is a quick review um, on how to create custom album spines on creativememories.com. So let's see if I can do it. We don't need that for right now. Okay, so you're going to go to creativememories.com and you will log in to your account. Hopefully you already have an account. You should have an account um, because sometimes I am limited in what I can purchase um, for, for you. Yes, thank you. Everyone's loving my shirt. I, love, I made it with my Cricut. Um, so first step is you're going to go into your account. If you actually... So my custom products are right here on the left-hand side, but let me show you how to get to them first. So you're gonna to go to create digital photo albums. And even though you're not creating a digital photo album tonight, that is where the custom foiled spines are. So once you go here, you're going to scroll down and you'll see custom foiled spines, view details. There's, we've, I've done other Techie Tuesdays on custom albums. So what you're going to do here is choose your book cloth. Now, the book cloth is um, 
they have all the current and some of the old um, classics like chocolate, um, cobalt, um, let's see, ebony is their standard black, eggplant, those kinds of things. So it's not, whoops, it's not going to show you a preview. But what I'm doing tonight is I am going, I, way back in the day, let me make myself bigger here, when Creative Memories had, um, when they first had custom spines and albums, you would actually mail your spine back to the company and then they would mail it back to you. So it was called Persona. And so this is, this is the one I did. And this was my very first Creative Memories album over 20 years old. So it's got a little wear and tear on the bottom from coming in and out of the shelf. It's well loved by everyone in the family. So um, what I thought I would do is make a custom, a new one without this design at the top. Because it's this is literally the only one I ever sent in to Persona. Oh, sorry. Um, so I'm just gonna do um, just the dates on the bottom going forward. All right. So let me come back here to. So I'm gonna choose the cobalt, and then it's gonna be silver foil. Now, if you remember, the old albums had foil on the front. And so I generally you try to match the foil that's on the front. However, when they're sitting on a shelf, you're not um, you're not seeing the front. So so if you want them to all match and all be silver or all gold, then you just have to do what you're gonna like to look at. Now mine are in a case, so it doesn't it doesn't matter. They're they're closed behind doors. But, so I'm just gonna match the album. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in um, April 1998. Well, actually, I'll just put Techie Tuesday. August 1998 and continue. You can um, stockpile these. Now they're $10 each if you order them through Creative Memories. But you can make all that you need. Say you've got 30 albums. So that's $300 in new album spines. But you can wait till there's a punch promo or some other kind of sales promo going on in order. So they're a great uh, thing to add up to that. You could also decide to become an advisor and get a discount on it, even if it's just to get your spine. Um, you could do that and then, and then, um, not, not renew. There's no minimums like there used to be. You order, order what you want. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, if you've got a bunch of album spines that you need to do and it's bothering you that they're not done, or it's just something that, you know, you'd feel really good if they were done. Um, Hopefully you can't hear my dog. Usually we're looking at, we're listening to Trixie, but my dog is freaking out. It really is. Okay. So I went up here to layouts and I'm just going to choose the bottom. This is what was up when we first came in, but I don't want to do a whole title down the side. So I'm going to come in here. When I click on the title box, it's going to allow me to change my text. Let me zoom in here so that you can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna do just what I had done on the original album. So April, 1998, which is the month that Brendan and I met, August 2000. Now you can see this is going beyond this the text safe area. So I'm gonna click transform and grab the little arrows and pull it up. Now, oh, August 200. That's not a thing. Well, it is a thing, but it's not work there. All right. Now I'm going to go to text. You can't go smaller than 16. So you got to find a font that you, that maybe is a little thinner or smaller. I wanted just a really simple font. So I'm going with this Roboto. 
Now I'm going to really push the envelope on these um, safe lines here until I get them on, on two lines. Okay. Now, I measured using my zero centering ruler. I put zero at the bottom here, and the A of um, the top line is at one and three quarters. So I'm just going to make sure that that's where um, this little box is lined up. I have no idea where my husband is. Can you hear her, Lily? She's freaking out right now. Now, I do wish we could go a little smaller, but it it um, that is as small as we can go. And it looks like I'm going out of the safe area, so, and I am, but when I hit preview, nothing is cut off. So um, I think I'm going to roll the dice with that. So now Creative Memories, as soon as I order this, they are going to send me a brand new sign so it won't be all messed up like the other one. And it'll have the date like that on the bottom. Now, you might be thinking, oh my goodness, that's a lot for $10. And I guess it just depends on, I, I can't tell you how, many, how mixed up all of my albums get on the shelf. And then when we want to look for one, we have to pull out like 10 different albums just to just to look for the one we're looking for. So, I mean, it's not a big deal. We end up looking at other pictures that we love, but um, it would be nice to have them all labeled. But now I'm going to show you what you can do yourself if you own a Cricut to get out of this view. We're just going to come up here. Did I already hit save? Let me hit save. And I'm going to hit these three lines up here. And I go to my custom products. Okay. That's going to bring me to um, that's going to bring me to my custom products. Here's the Techie Tuesday that we did last time. Um, this is the one I did tonight. These are the ones I did earlier today. This is different color blue. You can totally just go off script and do um, contrasting colors or like I said, your spine doesn't have to match the front. That's what you're seeing if it's on a shelf you see. So you could get all black if you wanted it to be all black in your living room and then the covers would just be different. So um all right so that's ordering them through creative memories now we are going to um make them ourselves doing the cooking all right i'm going to add the cricket cam no i'm not okay so here i am in cricket design space and I really wish that I didn't hear my own voice in my ear. Hopefully you're not hearing me double and there's no crazy feedback. Um, so the trick with the pen and the Cricut, and some of you have asked me about this before, is that I've zoomed way in so that you can see that the letters are hollow. Can you see that? And so when you put a pen in, if it's a thin, if a fine tip pen, you're going to actually see those lines if you were to draw it on a piece of paper. And many of you have, um, have asked me about that before at retreats and workshops on what, how to remedy that. Well, one of the ways to remedy it is to actually use a, um, a thicker pen, Cricut pen. And it'll actually fill in those those spots. Um, the other thing you can do is look for thin or writing fonts, and you can search that. Let me hide this one. 
All right, where'd you go? I'm all zoomed in. Okay. This is actually a cut. So when you make a text box, it's up here at the top, it'll say basic cut. So this is the exact same font that I was showed you before. Just one is um, pen oper under operation and the other one is cut. You can, let me duplicate this really quick. When you change this font, you can go over to filter and scroll down to writing. Now those writing type fonts are going to be, um, first of all, you have to pay for them if you're not a member of Cricut Design Space. So they're going to cost some money. You can preview it for free and see if it's something you want. It's going to take just a hot second because we're streaming online and um, Cricut is also online. So just give it a, give it a second. And there it goes. Okay, so this is a cut, and you can see how thick that is. If I change the basic operation to pen, now you can see that it's the outline. So unless you have a, a, a thick pen in there, you're, if you have a fine tip pen, that's how it's going to... Um, draw out for you. So one of the ways, I'm just going to delete this, one of the ways you can remedy that is to download some thin fonts. And so one of the websites that I like to do that on is 1001fonts.com. And the reason why I like this one, normally my go-to for fonts would be defont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T. But you can go to font categories up here, and they have categories on Defont. But this one, you can look at the weight of the lines. You can do hairline, 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 thin, light, regular, medium, bold, heavy. So if I go to thin, which I'm going to have a better um, result um, with a pen, these are some of the choices. There's many, 80 pages worth, but this is the one that I ended up downloading. It's very simple. That's what I wanted. I wanted something um, that I you know, could use over and over again on my albums. So this is the um, end result of that. Now this is a cut file and this is um, this is the, the pen that's going to draw it on. Now, what we're going to do, because we're going to do our own foil. Now, I had first bought the Cricut foil tool, but that really just presses the foil on, which to me just really didn't seem, and just doing research online, it didn't seem like it was going to last as long as the heat. So what I ended up getting was, let me make myself bigger. was the foil quill from We Are Memory Keepers. Now this set actually ended up, I could get three quills and they look like this. Oops. Um, they have converters that will go into a Cricut, a Silhouette, a Brother, and something else. Uh, another machine that I can't think of. But, um, it works with a Cricut and that's what was important to me. Now this heats up. And so when it puts the foil on, it's actually a heat process. And so it is not, um, it's not going to come off. It's very easy to use. You just need to plug it into a USB. So you can plug it into your computer or like most of us now have all the, the little towers with all the plugs in them. And so that's how I plug mine on. I plug it into one of that. So this is a foil quill. I want to say this whole set, and it came with um, sample foils and everything. And I, I don't get anything for selling this. I'm just letting you know because you're my scrappy people. Um, 
what works for me. So the first test I did was on a sheet of paper because foil will work on paper too. Let me add, I'm just going to add this camera so you can see. Now you can see the foil on there. I mean, that just, I was so, this was, you know, first, first one. And this was just earlier today. I was so impressed by how awesome. This is not like a, a rub on, you know, this is not coming off. This is heat foil onto the paper. I, I just, I loved it. So then, um, excuse me, because it fell on the floor. Um, so then it was time to try it on the book cloth. Now, since I'm already replacing this book cloth, I just did it on the side. Now, in my excitement, I, um, I didn't uh, position it correctly on my Cricut mat. So it actually went through washi tape. So my A didn't come out. You can be sure that the one I demoed tonight, I will not be, I will not make that mistake. I may make a different mistake, um, but I, I won't make, I won't make that one. So I should note here now too, that if you're a card maker or if you want to do foil for like a wedding album, um, for titles, that kind of thing, um, this would be a great, a great tool to use. Now, um, I was going to sh show alternatively another way to um, use your Cricut and do custom albums. And I was going to show you how you could cut out vinyl and HTV vinyl, high temperature vinyl and iron it on Cricut sells this really cute little iron. I have the cute little iron. I was going to iron it on, but with these small letters, the amount of steps that you would have to go through to do that, just, it did not, it was not feasible at all. Um, you'd have to remember to print, you know, cut, cut out your HTV vinyl mirror. You'd have to weed out all the pieces that you didn't want. So just keeping those little tittles for your eye and the dashes for your date intact before you ironed it down was just going to be, um, but quite honestly, it's just going to be a nightmare. So I just said, why? Why would you do that to yourself? If you really wanted to go through and um, do your own album spines, I really think the only way to do it, I would suggest, other than just letting Creative Memories handle it, let the professionals do it, um, would be to get the spoil quilt. All right. So now let's see it in action. So the very next album on my case, in my album, I'm going to flip it around this way because this bottom is, is a little better, um, is an eggplant album. And that needs to be labeled August 2000 to May 2001. So let's come back over here to this screen. I'm, I can hide this because this is a cut file. We're not going to cut. This is when I was going to do the vinyl. I mean, you can see how tiny this is. This is only a half inch high. How could you possibly keep track of that little tittle on that eye? All right. So we're going to hide this basic cut. We don't, we're not going to do that. And then I need to change this to August 2000. May 2001. Now this, you seem a little close, probably because the August, um, so I can add the line, I can add to my line space here to separate these a little bit. It got less than, um, than half inch there. All right, that looks good. Um, oops. 
So I'm going to attach I'm going to attach my actual album slime to my Cricut mat. Now, I will say that if you have um, and if you can get a strong grip mat, if you're going to be doing a bunch of these, it would probably be better. Um, just because it's going to hold, it's going to hold your, your spine on here better. So what I did was I also taped down with washi tape, which also comes with that foil quill set. I just put a couple pieces just to, you know, hold it in place. A little extra because it's very thick. Now I will tell you too that you want to put it through your Cricut, the setting, not for foil, not for something really thin, even though that might be your first instinct. What you want to do is put it for the top of the whole thing. So I actually did it as poster board plus, the thickest setting on my Explorer 2. Um, So I've got the I've got it taped on. Now I need to tape on the foil for where it's gonna go. Um, hold please. Uh, I should really double check to make sure what foil color this is. Enjoy my um you don't want to see my I did change my chair so that um Where did it go? Well, I was going to have Cricut Cam on there. All right. Well, you're just going to do that. Always forgetting something. Okay. So it is, in fact, silver. Thanks for hanging on, not running away. So I'm going to cut a little piece of silver out of the foil. Now this is, let's see, an inch and a half by a half inch but I don't want to happen what happened to me earlier. So I wanna make sure that I have a big enough piece of foil. Now I'm gonna tape it with washi tape. Um, in the same position that it's in and that's something you want to standardize right so let's find <laughs> sorry i'm going to use my measure my zero centering ruler to um to see where this is going to be So the middle is at five inches, but actually what I should do is look here. So I need to make sure that the center is gonna be, because every album spine is gonna have different creases, right? I want it to sit in the middle. So that's at five and a half. And I need to come up an inch and three quarters from the bottom. So I need that to sit because this hangs over a little bit at the bottom. So I need it to sit right at, right about the 10. So where's my little piece? 
I need I I don't I need another camera so that you can see what I'm doing. But I'll show you after I put this. Should, this should have really been more cooking show. I could have this together. <laughs> Thanks, Marja. What is the giveaway? The giveaway is an hour um, with me uh, with Techie Help. So I'm going to tape down this foil. Now, I did it on the side of the blue one in my practice. And I mean, I'm just going for it with this one. But part of the reason is I know this eggplant color is still available and um, from Creative Memories. So if I totally destroy this album spine, now you can see the time that it takes. So if you already have a Cricut and you already have the quill or you want to make the investment on the quill, um, then you know and you have a ton of albums to do then this is going to save you money but if you're definitely a person like time is money uh then you know just ordering it from create memories is, is going to save you much mucho time but once you get once you get it going it's um it's great all right let me come back to my cricket. Let's get, oh, the cricket cam is up there. Oh, goodness. All right, well, I forgot to plug in. My foil quill. So, now we have to wait for that to warm up. So, let me remind you about sharing. You can win a free hour of techie help with me. I will also remind you that we have our this card class next. Um, I don't know how that comes there. This is the new stuff. The three in one tag punch is awesome. But that is not what I wanted to show you. What I wanted to show you was. Oh, okay. oh, my friends at Masterpiece are so adept at this. Let me tell you, it's a learning curve. There's a lot going on back here. Okay, August card kit. Here we go. If you haven't signed up, you'll want to do that. I am shipping them out starting tomorrow. So some of you that have ordered um, some other things from me, I'll be shipping all that together. If you already ordered the Argus card kit, some of you I've invoiced tonight before the show. Um, so that's what's going on. These are punny fruit cards and I've never done this before, but everyone's going to get a free little bottle of hibiscus stickles. So, um, so that will be fun. We'll be stickling it up. And then next month we have our crop for grain gold. Scrappy Ladies Making Waves, right? This is for Cannonballs for Cane Foundation. Uh, September is Pediatric Cancer Awareness Month. And so uh, DIPG, um, a type of brain cancer that Kirsten Sunkane had, is a pediatric brain cancer. And so we will be raising money to for families affected by DIPG. And so we would um, love for you to join us. You can join us on Zoom on Saturday or in person on Friday and Saturday. Lunch is included on Saturday. Sorry, I'm just, uh, we still have two and a half more minutes for my <laughs> to uh, warm up. So if you have any other questions about either the Crop for Grain Gold or um, card class next Tuesday or anything else, now is a great time to do that. And if you haven't shared, of course, you can do that. 
and you will be entered to win. And I'm doing it through StreamYard, so you all will be able to see the drawing. That was one of my um, reasons for learning StreamYard this month. Um, so we're, all, we're almost there. Any other questions anyone have for me? I, I can't wait to show you um, how this works. Sure, Cindy, yeah, of course you can. I can put it on my bench for you, but I should be here. Anyone else have any questions while I'm uh, waiting for my... You can see it lit up. See it here? This is the foil, the foil, the foil, the foil quill. Um, this is the pen holder for Cricut. Maybe I should make it bigger. This is the pen holder that goes into the pen attachment. So you do have to take this out before you can put your um, your quill in. When I first put it in, it was touching the bottom of my Cricut. And put in the little package, there's an echo. That's new. Well, I don't have, it's still echoing. Um, it comes with this little metal thing that you can stick under to protect your Cricut. And um, because this does heat up. Okay, good. Um, all right, we're almost ready. Sorry, I meant that was one of the things I needed to do before. But I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for joining me. And if you have any questions, I think I have time for one more. Is everyone going to do this for their your album? <laughs> Wait till you see it. You're you're gonna you're gonna be amazed. I was, I was amazed. Well, hopefully this all works out right. Otherwise, none of us will be amazed. Okay, timer is off. Timer just went off. So now. I can go back to my Cricut screen share here. All right. And you can see on the left that I'm going to load in this spine. I'm going to turn it to poster board plus. And I'm going to say make it. Oh, I'm so glad you're here, Tracy and Wanda. Yeah, you're doing it for your 8x8, but you, you mailed them in, right? Because, because this is like a lot of work. Okay, so now I'm going to take this and move it down. What did I say? It needs to line up. With it. Now I need to get out my ruler again. I, I definitely don't want it to run. I might have to move down my foil just a tick. Um, and then it's going between the five and the six. All right, I'm gonna move down this foil just a hair. Are we ready? I'm excited. Ah, there's nothing like live TV or live Facebook Live. Okay, and also I should note, we are live on YouTube as well. So if you have friends that aren't on Facebook, they can watch all of my things now that I'm using StreamYard on, and that includes card kits. <laughs> Rosie can do it. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue. Here we go. Mirror off. It's on pen. You want to check that it's on pen up here. 
set base material, poster board plus, time to hit the flashing light, and sail the chair. Not exactly center, but the beautiful thing with the Creative Memories albums is I can center that part wherever I want. And I would definitely, um, if I did it again, make sure that that is pushed over. Um, but that's how it looks. And this is not, this is not coming off. This does not rub off. It is not, um, you don't have to iron it it's done so that's why i sort of bailed on the um htv vinyl for now um people have come up with all kinds of creative ways to to label their albums through the years they have um printed photos um or printed um cardstock and kind of did a band of cardstock around so but if you want to do the foil and you've got a cricket and you have um like I said that's the beauty of these albums you can kind of play with them and recenter them but there it is and you didn't have to the glare is it's so shiny it looks like the letters there we go that's better i need to move it over a little bit it's been on the out on the shelf 20 years but that there you go um that's gonna bug me okay i'll listen i think that's better there we go <laughs> all right so that is the foil quill and again you can use that um on uh just regular card stock too papers cards um <laughs> where's the camera that's a, that's the rose gold um so i really enjoyed um learning that for you all today that's the one thing about techie tuesday makes me kind of get out of my comfort zone for you all um and let me go back to frida's question no food on friday you can order from the vfw but the add-on is so cheap like for a half table it's only ten dollars instead of the 35 um it's such a discount or in twenty dollars instead of 45 so that's really just to cover the space and and then donation. So um, all the money goes to the Cannonballs for Pain Foundation. So you can um, order off the menu or you can bring your own. You can bring a sack lunch. Um, I mean, you can do that anytime, but you can, um, but there will be food on Saturday as part of your, um, as part of your fee for the day. And I'm hoping we've got some out of town ladies joining us on Saturday. I don't know if they're staying over Saturday night or Friday, but I think there'll be some opportunities for some scrappy ladies to go out to eat 
after the crop Friday or and or after the crop Saturday. So we will definitely let everyone know um, the arrangements as they unfold and as we get a little closer. All right. So now we're going to see about StreamYard's giveaway tool. Let's see how this works. Okay. Doesn't appear to have. I'm going to let you see it as soon as I get it dialed in here. You can see who our lucky winner is. And if it doesn't, no, it says there's zero entries. That isn't true. I don't know, StreamYard. This is why I... Okay. Well, um, it was not, it would not pick up the shared. So the only way I could do it was all comments. So everyone that's commented tonight is going to be entered into the drawing. This, um, so let's see who our lucky winner is. <laughs> Daisy, congratulations. You are the winner. That's wonderful. Well, congratulations. Thank you all for tuning in tonight to the special Techie Tuesday, very Techie Tuesday. And um, hopefully we'll get some of these bugs ironed out before our card class on um, next Tuesday. And if you haven't signed up, don't forget to do that. You will not want to miss out on the fun card class for August, our honey fruit card. And I just have, I think I just have two kits left. So text me or go to energeticexpression.com or memorymaniacs.com if you would like to do this card class. Thank you all for being on tonight. And... There we go. Until I see you all again, stay scrappy. Take care.